Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Cinemojis. I'm your host, David Jindoyan, and we got another good one for you today. We got a very special theme match this week that we're aptly naming our Animation Domination Special, where every movie today is going to be an animated film. And I couldn't think of two better people to have compete in this. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and bring them in. Our first competitor, uh, returning guest, you know him? Hey. Former team's champ, Jeffrey Kahn. Yeah, and so I only watch anime movies as a kid, so I, I think I specifically requested this, so hopefully I did well. This, yeah, this was a special request from you, and then as soon as we actually got on board with creating this match, you had, I said, who would you like to compete against? You immediately brought up this guy's name. Any particular reason? Um, I don't know. Maybe we never got to face each other in the that other trivia show that no longer exists. Uh, <laughs> so. The one that shall not be named. Yeah, apparently, <laughs> since Voldemort. Uh, but yeah, so this just seemed like a good, good guy to go against. All right, a little, little bit of a unfinished business that you want to kind of close the chapter on, huh? Sure, if you want to call it that. <laughs> well, with that, we'll go ahead and bring in your competitor, as you were saying. Uh, you know him from Left Side, Strong Side, and also Notorious by Chance. Chance Ellison, the ever uh, sleeveless too. I'm, you know, the one time I don't wear sleeves, and this one guy, time. oh, there always has to be someone sleeveless. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, how it goes. Yeah, there always has to be at least one yeah. sleeveless person on the show, so I appreciate <laughs> that. How's it going? I didn't realize we couldn't even name, name the name of the show. That's, 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 <laughs> that's just a joke. I know. <laughs> so you guys never competed against each other, but as soon as I actually told you that there was an animation match against Khan, you said yes immediately too. So it seems like there's. Like, you both seem very confident with animated movies. Let's hope so. <laughs> uh, yeah, but people remind me how young I am all the time. And, you know, what we have, what we do, we watch the animated pictures. So, yeah. Uh, well, I, I love animated movies, and I can't draw what the fuck. But, yeah. <laughs> As we discussed backstage, too, Khan even reminded me how much older he is than... Well, I'm not, I don't think I'm that much older than Chance. He's not that much older than me. Yeah, just a couple years. <laughs> <laughs> Just a couple years. Yeah, but he, he still he had to he had to make it a point saying that he was the older competitor. Because I don't see that. I can't say that uh, about a lot of people. Yeah, you literally there's like like three guys you can say that about him. One. Was Parker and and Oyama. Oyama, that's, that's it. it. <laughs> literally, I think that's it. Well, are you guys ready to get today's game started? Yeah, I am. All right. So with that, let's go ahead and begin round number one. So the way round number one is going to work, uh, you're both going to be given seven questions. Uh, I'm going to give you the decade, and technically I would normally say the genre, but since this is a special animation movie match, every single movie is going to be animated. Whether uh, So I don't have to really you know, keep saying animated over and over again. So I'll give you the decade to start the question, and I'll give you five emojis, and that'll descri describe the film. And then basically both of you are going to write them down on your whiteboards and then answer them together. So looking for the name of the film. Whoever gets that question correct gets a point and gets the opportunity to answer a bonus question with an additional point. Throughout the entirety of the match, uh, you guys have three hints that you can use however you'd like. You can ask for a specific year, director, or actor. In the case of round number one, it's going to be kind of like top tier or top build uh, actor. So with that, any questions? Just curious to see what you included in this. <laughs> just, just, just one question. So we get three yeah, hints for the whole game. Yeah, for the whole game, and you can gotcha. you can save them, burn them. You can actually burn all three hints on the same question if you really wanted. Uh, gotcha. Okay. Uh, yeah. Use them at your discretion. I'm good. I'm good. Let's go. All right. So question number one. We're gonna go to 2020s. Okay. You've got a convenience store, an inspector. Temper, water, and fire. 2020s. And once you guys are ready, just hold your boards up so I can, uh, we can get going. Okay. We'll start with Khan. The decent Pixar film, Elemental. All right, and Chance? The other thing that came out that same weekend, Elemental. <laughs> <laughs> Elemental is correct. All right, strong start for both guys. Let's go ahead and go to bonus question. You both can answer this, so we'll have you both write them down again. What is the name of the convenience store? Oh. Oh, God. Um, what? It has to be a pun. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing. I knew you guys were so confident with animation movies. I had to like dig deep for some of these questions. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go hard in the paint, as they say. 
Alright. Oh, damn. <laughs> Alright. Let's start with uh, Khan. I just went with the obvious, the furnace. Mm. Any chance? Kim's convenience. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Not bad. Khan, you were very close. It's called the fireplace. Ah, dang it! <laughs> We're so name. close. Oh my God. So I've close. seen that movie literally one time and one time only. <laughs> yeah. All right. Question number two. We're moving on to the 80s. 1980s. You have an oasis, an earthquake, losing a mother, a volcano, and dinosaurs. I really hope I don't end up losing my one point because I said furnace instead of fireplace. <laughs> We'll see if that comes back to him. Oh my god, I'll never live that down. <laughs> all right, looks like you both wrote that down pretty quick. We'll start with uh, Chance this time. I hosted an Aggie cereal party for this film and saw many kids crying in their cereal. Land Before Time. That is correct. Con? A childhood classic, Land Before Time. Also correct. <laughs> all right, bonus question to you both again. The T-Rex is referred to as what name? I feel like they both might redeem themselves from it's the It's been forever since I've actually seen it, but the, the way I'm still able to remember. I know, right? I feel like it imprinted yeah. on you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Chance. Thank you, this movie and the sequel, Sharp Tooth. And Con. Sharp Tooth. There it is. Still tied up. Question. Number three, moving right along. 2010s. 2010s. You have an enchanted cake, a witch, a bear curse, a princess, and a bow and arrow. Dang. All right. I, I might have had to go a little harder. You guys are writing real quick. All right. So you can start with. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go to Khan. Not as good of a Pixar movie. Brave. <laughs> Chance. Lower tier Pixar, fight me, brave. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm definitely not fighting you. <laughs> All right. Bonus question to you both. Since you know this, since you had the answer so quick. All right. <laughs> name, name three of the four clans in the oh film. <laughs> I thought there were only three clans. Oh, shoot. <laughs> And they're all Scottish names, I think. Oh my god. And that'd be a safe bet. <laughs> Three of the four, you said? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I'll be lucky. Again, I'll, be layups. I, I'll be lucky if I correctly guess one of them. <laughs> uh... I was back and forth of saying to name two or three, so I just I said I, I, I probably still would have been stuck for two. <laughs> Right, let's start with uh, Khan. Uh, I think Dingwall is correct, and then I said Cornwall and Ferguson. <laughs> okay, and Chance? I got Dingwall, Dunbrock, and Macintosh. Chance nailed all three. <laughs> well done, well done. Ding, what, Ding, what's the last Dingbrock, one? Dingbrock, Dingwall, Macintosh, and MacGuffin. MacGuffin? <laughs> of course, a MacGuffin. <laughs> Ironic that he forgot the MacGuffin. Nice pull. <laughs> all right, question. Number four, we're going to the 70s, 1970s. You've got a disguise, a sheriff, taxes, archery, and a sexy fox. <laughs> Not an unsexy fox, it must be a sexy fox. You start with uh, Chance. Robin Hood. And Khan? Maybe the best, still the best adaptation, Robin Hood. <laughs> yeah, correct. I think it's up there. I'd agree with that. It's a really good. Recently, movie. it's been crap. <laughs> <laughs> it's been rough shot for a while. It's been Lord rough. knows, Harrington didn't do it, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone's favorite version of questions. Bonus question to you both: How much was the reward for Robin Hood according to the Wanted poster? To the exact amount. 
exact amount and i have two different versions of currency uh based on some oh. research that i did so uh depending on what version i've got I may go either way i'm gonna look, I'm gonna look idiotic if i have the wrong currency uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is 70s money so it can't be <laughs> that high <laughs> i'm always trying to game the system <laughs> any advantage I can try to partner. All right, uh, let's start with uh, Chance. I said 50,000. And Khan? I said 100,000 pounds. Okay, way over, guys. It's 1,000 uh, pounds. Oh, it's only? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just really a bit over. Wow, okay. Just a little bit, a little bit. Uh, if you went with the other version, I had something that was called an ingot, and it was 10,000 ingots. So I also had that. Uh, okay. That was another version that I saw. It might be we like overestimated how much they value Robin Hood, apparently. That's yeah. true, yeah. You don't want it that badly. I mean, you really value value. Value. <laughs> All right, question number five. We're moving up to the 2000s. 2000s. You have a navigational robot, spaceships, a holographic star map, a black hole, and pirates. That's 2000s. Navigational robot, spaceships, a holographic star map, a black hole, and pirates. Might be the first, uh, first one. I'm a little less sure, but I don't think I want to burn a hint because I have the answer. Look like you're both ready. I'll we'll start with Khan. Treasure Planet. That is correct. Chance. I, I mean, I thought I whipped it because Khan was thinking about it so hard. Treasure Planet. There it is. Treasure Planet. <laughs> All right. Bonus question to you both. The crew meets Ben, the alien robot. What does the acronym Ben, B-E-N, stand for? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> See, we're getting the movies. We're just struggling with the bonus question. Yeah, the bonus. I told you I had to go a little hard on the paint for you guys, man. I know how good you ben are. Stand. I just give you give you everything. <laughs> um. So, what is the acronym B? It's probably something dumb, and I'm overthinking it. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I don't even know. I got nothing. You see the wheels turn and trying to figure out what to put. I just, I started, I tried at the beginning and I gave up. <laughs> okay. If even one of these is correct. I'm hoping you have something written down at least. It's, just, it's a funny answer. But yeah. All right. Let's start with, uh, let's start with Khan. Basic engineer noob. <laughs> nice. No, I'm sorry. Chance. Be excellent ninjas. <laughs> I, I really like I mean, that answer, good. But it's good. It was actually bioelectronic navigator. Uh, sure. Okay. So it was an actual answer, wasn't it? It was an actual answer. Yeah. It was, it was I figured one. the end was for navigator, but I had no idea yeah. what the B of the user for. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Question number six. Moving up to the 90s. Question six is the 90s. We've got the Arctic, an emerald cube, a big bully, a cargo ship, and mating for life. The 90s. The 90s. It's so the Arctic, an emerald cube, a big bully, a cargo ship, and mating for life. Uh, Sounds like we might I have a hint. I'll use a hint. Oh, sure, I'll use a hint. We're near the uh, end of round. Uh, so, uh, Chance, do you want to lock in or do you want to burn a hint too? I'll lock in. Chance is locking in. All right. Khan, what hint would you like? I'm not going to fall for the director trap. I'll take actor. <laughs> <laughs> not, not on this one, at least. I don't think. So, <laughs> the actor for this is Martin Short. Who was the voice of Ben in Treasure Planet? Um, <laughs> it's a little bit of a connection here. It's, it's um, the is Martin Short's the lead? You have the um, Arctic. 
an emerald cube, a big bully, a cargo ship, and mating for life. Oh, why can't I think of... Um... Seemed like Chance confirmed Shoot. his thoughts once he heard Martin Short. I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> uh, I'm not 100% confident if he's in, even in this movie, but... All right. That doesn't even make any... Nah, it makes no sense with the emoji. Whatever. <laughs> All right, let's start with uh, Chance. Oh God, what do you got? The pebble and the penguin? That is correct. <laughs> yeah, nope. I guess Fern Gully. <laughs> oh. Clearly not right. <laughs> it is the pebble and the penguin. Jeez. <laughs> nice pull. All right, so Chance, bonus question goes to you. You don't have to write it down since it's just for you. Okay. Hubie is caged by humans and put on a ship named after what Stephen King novel? Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, uh, Cujo. Not a bad guess, Ooh. but it was actually misery. Misery. Damn it. Yeah. Very on the nose, misery. Yeah, no, very. Okay. <laughs> All right. And question number seven to close out the round. We're going to the 2010s. 2010s. You have Hurt Feelings, Adoption, A Projector, Super Villains, and A Clown. So this is 2010s. You have Hurt Feelings, Adoption, A Projector, Super Villains, and A Clown. What the heck is 2010s? You saved the hardest ones for last. Um, yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I thought this one was going to be an easy one for you guys. Well, I, don't know, I'm like, I don't know why I'm liking on this. There's like a few that make sense outside of one emoji. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I think I think I'll burn hands on this one. <sighs> okay, Khan, would you well, like I have to lock in? Unless I, unless I, you'd have to lock in. Otherwise, you'd have to burn a hand as well. Yeah, yeah crap. I don't want to burn another hand. Um, want to burn a second hand? I might need those hints later now that it's the difficulties ramping up. Um, hurt, hurt feelings, adoption, projector, super villains. Hurt feelings, adoption, projector, super villains, and a clown. 2010s. No, that doesn't, that's the wrong decade. Um, <sighs> need you to write something down. Okay. Uh, Okay, I'll lock in. You're locking in? All yeah. right. Chance, what hint would you like? Specific year, director, or actor? Give me actor. All right. Actor, Will Arnett. Crap. Uh, I had a feeling the hint would confirm that I'm wrong. And so, Will Arnett, 2010s. You have hurt feelings, adoption, a projector, supervillains, and a clown. Makes so much Tom sense. Now. Shaking his head now, he knows. Makes so much sense now. Dang it. Oh, my God. <laughs> 2010's Will Arnett. <laughs> Starting to think you should have used your hint, Con? Nah, I, I, I probably need the hints for later, so I'm probably just, you know, I just had to give up a point. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm ready. Right. Let's start with Khan. Fuck. Well, I'm wrong, but I wrote minions. And chance? Uh, I realized what it was like right oh, now. Oh no. Uh. <laughs> it's, like, it's Lego Batman. I know it. Did so you what, write the what, what did you write? I wrote Teen Titans Go to the Movies. I realized oh, what no. I had to say. That's a terrible guess. Yeah, it's Lego Batman. That's not a bad guess either, but it is it is the Lego Batman movie, yeah. Damn. Just for fun, can, can I know? Really, can we know I really what the bonus question was? <laughs> can we know what the bonus question was? Uh, you know, yeah, for fun, I can at least give you the bonus question. No points allowed, but like yeah. for fun, see if you can get it. Okay. Um, I really like this movie. I actually was hoping you guys would get this because I really I would, like yeah, I'd mean, love this movie. And I just completely would. <laughs> All right. What is Batman's double secret super password that unlocks parental controls? I fucking. <laughs> oh wait, is it different than the? It, I'm thinking of the password to get into the Bat Cave. Yep. No, I, I know this one too. 
to unlock parental <laughs> control. Um, yeah, his double secret super password that unlocks parental I control. Remember. I know Iron Man sucks is the other password. What is this one? <laughs> Go ahead, Chance. It's, it's Alfred the Butler with two T's. Oh, the, <laughs> Alfred the Butler with two T's. <laughs> Nice. You know, I'm going to give Chance a bonus, just a separate bonus. A separate play. Okay. Really <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice, good. Good pull. <laughs> All right. So after after that round, the score is Chance with eight, Khan with six. Starting great on. in the night. Yes. Move on to round number two. So with that, uh, Chance, you're in the lead. You have power of choice. Way round number two is going to work. There are two batches of questions. Each batch has five questions. Uh, you basically will still get the decade as your starting point. However, you're going to be given three emojis to describe the plot of the film to start. Okay. Uh, questions are going to be worth five points. If you need uh, more emojis, you can ask to put five on it. I add two more emojis and the point value drops from five to two. There is stealing. So if you get it incorrect, your opponent can steal and it's with whatever you leave them with. So if you leave it at three emojis, your opponent is stuck with the three emojis as well. Uh, you still can use your hints, specific year, director, or actor. In round number two, though, it's going to kind of drop to the second tier or just a little bit lower uh, build actor. Okay. So you're in the lead. Uh, would you like batch number one or batch number two? Just arbitrarily, do I like one or two? Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Uh, I'll, say, I'll say two. All right, and would you like to go first or second? This is where it actually plays into strategy. I'll go first. First. Okay, so batch two going first. On batch one, going second. You both still have two hints left. Mm -hmm. So give me a moment to pull Hopefully up. our hints later go better than when we used yeah. them first. Because we both uh, missed yeah. on a hint. <laughs> Let's see. So find the right slide for batch number two. There it is. Okay. Chance. Your yeah. first question is 2010s. 2010s. You've got Dirt, Las Vegas, and a duel. Dirt, Las Vegas, and a duel. Dirt, Las Vegas, and a duel. <sighs> Rango. It is Rango for five points. All right. Question number two. We are going to the 1980s. Mm -hmm. 1980s. You've got sisters, a sick mother, and planted seeds. My name is Totoro. Wow. Damn, you pulled that quick. I would have known it immediately, too. Dang it. <laughs> that, is, that is correct, and I am I fully you. impressed. Because I, love <laughs> I love That might be my I favorite. Was, I, was, movie. I was hoping you'd get that movie, but I didn't know you'd get it that fast. Well done. Thank you. Also, I was just for sake of like doing it, and I was very happy with the emoji that I had. It was, uh, the other two would have been the other two would have been spirits and a cat shaped bus. Cat -shaped nice. Bus. Okay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> question. Question number three. The chance is going to be two thousands. Okay. You've got a ruby, a frog, and the World Cup. Flushed away. <sighs> For five points, that is flushed away. It is very concerning that I'm knowing these as quickly as he is. Because I, I don't know if that bodes well for me. I'm starting to think I should have went harder. Jeez, this, you guys are on top of this. One. Well, me knowing his doesn't mean anything for me. That's fair. <laughs> All right, Chance. Your next question oh, is going to be where are we at? Question number four. The '90s. Okay. 1990s. You've got famous animatronics, spending money, and the tunnel of love. Famous animatronics, spending money, tunnel of love. In the 90s. Famous animatronics, spending money, tunnel of love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, now he stumped us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got five on it. All right. Your other two. Besides famous animatronics, spending money, tunnel of love, are an amusement park and delinquent children. Amusement park and delinquent children. Mm hmm. Famous animatronics, spending money, the tunnel of love, famous amusement park, and delinquent children. 
the nineties. <laughs> yep. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm able to use hints in this round. You right? can use a hint as well if you'd like. Yeah, I'll take a hint. Okay, would you like specific year, director, or actor? Uh, give me actor. Okay, I think that's a good choice. Actor for this, Tone Loke. Oh no! Well, it's not blank check. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's not animated, is it? Uh, <laughs> put children. Does that help me? <laughs> <laughs> Does that even help me if I get the chance to steal? I know, right? Well, let's about to find out, Khan. James the Giant Peach. That is incorrect. So, Khan, no, I don't know. two point steal. Oh, no, Jesus. 1990s Tone Loke. Got famous animatronics, spending money, tunnel of love, amusement park, and delinquent children. Somewhere I think I hear Craig screaming. Um, <laughs> so I think he likes, he's a big Tone Loke fan. Um, it feels like a Babs, a Babs movie. <laughs> <laughs> 90s to, um... I gotta, you know what, I'm gonna make a note of right bats for another match, though. <laughs> um, I have no idea. It's probably one I don't think I've seen. Um... What's your, what's your guess? The Rockadoodle. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is also incorrect. Uh, you might pick yourself for this one. This is Bebe's Kids. <laughs> yes, it is, baby. Okay, messing because I've never. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Good. Lord. Close out the round. Question of that's how deep you're going. Okay. <laughs> now, now I'm locked. Now you know where the line is. This is where we're going. Yeah, I see. <laughs> All right. Your last question is going to be 2010s. Okay. Chance, you've got uh, a monkey, candlelit lanterns, and a one-eyed kid. Coop on the two strings. For five points, that is correct. Mm-hmm. Oh, Strong finish. Pressure's on. Pressure is on. The score is twenty-eight <laughs> to six, but there are a lot of points uh, in this batch, so you could still make it a game here. Okay, Khan, pull up your batch here. There it is. All right. Question number one. For you is going to be 2010s. Mm-hmm. Your three emojis for 2010s are a strip mall, a lawnmower, and a tomato. Um, I don't think it's a Veggie Tales movie. Uh, give me five <laughs> on it. All right. Your other two emojis are going to be a race and a snail. Is this Turbo? This is Turbo for two points. <laughs> a movie everyone remembers? Yeah. <laughs> you know, the famous, famous Turbo. Yes. All right. Your next question is going to be in the 90s. Your three emojis for the 90s are kids running away, time travel, and joining the circus. Time travel and joining the circus. Oh boy. <laughs> um the nineties. Kids running away, time travel, and joining the circus. Nothing's jumping jumping to the front of my brain. Um I'll do it again. Give me more five on it. <laughs> All right. More you five. Have, you also have a museum and Rex. But it's not Toy Story. Um, <laughs> can you repeat the whole thing again? Sorry. It is kids running away, time travel, joining the circus, a museum, and Rex. 1990s. Is um, I don't know why it's not coming to me. Um, uh, it's definitely uh, whatever. Toy Story Two is wrong. Is incorrect. So chance potential two point steal. What do you got? Is it we're back a dinosaur story? God damn it! It is we're back a dinosaur <laughs> story. <laughs> is one of the characters also named Rex? Yeah. Okay. The T Rex is named Rex. Good. All right. Con, your next question, question number three, is going to be twenty twenties. Okay. You've got a grandmother, a missing family, and sixty minutes. 
grandmother missing family in 60 minutes. Oh, it's Marcel the Shell with shoes on. For five points, it is it Marcel. Nice. It should technically count as an animated film. Technically counts as an animated film. That's why I gave you those. Yep. Finally. <laughs> All right, nice comeback there. Question number four. Your decade is the 90s. You have okay. sick children, winter, and getting medicine. Hmm. Sick children, winter, and getting medicine. Um, shoot, I'm, I'm taking a shot here. Okay. Uh, I think it's Balto. For five points, that is correct. <laughs> Your other I'm not 100% sure if I've out. fully seen the movie. Yeah, your other two emojis would have been a sled and a wolf dog, so. <laughs> nice pull. I knew that was the, I, I figured that was the basic plot of the pull, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Making a little bit of momentum here. All right, last question to you, Khan. You're going to the 1980s. Okay. You have a car battery, an office chair, and going off to college. Car battery office chair going off to college. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll use a hint. Um, okay, burning a hint. I'll take the actor. Actor in this, Phil Hartman. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I know Phil Hartman from is live action. Um, You can still put five on it. I know, I realize. Okay. Let's see. I probably should. Yeah, I'll put five on it. Okay. So you've got car battery, office chair, going off to college, a junkyard crusher, and appliances. Um. Again, not sure if I've seen this. Can you repeat the whole thing just once and I'll yeah. uh, wait so your it's guess? The, it's the, it's the, the 80s. Did I say 90s? No, I think you said 80s. I think I said 80s, right? Okay, so 80s. Um, so it's the 1980s, Phil Hartman. You have a car battery, an office chair, going off to college, a junkyard crusher, and appliances. This doesn't really make sense, because I don't think Phil Hartman's in this, but some of the emojis fit. The Transformers, the movie? That is incorrect. <laughs> Answer to another two-point potential steal. The Brave Little Tester. Ah, I two points, that is the Brave Little <laughs> Was that actually the 80s? I thought it was the 90s this whole time. Was that the 80s? That's why I was confused if I had said 90s off the top, but it was actually- But it is 80s? Okay. It is 87, yeah. Nice. Well, I was getting ready to challenge. <laughs> For some reason, I thought it was 90s as well when I first like researched it, but- oh. so I think it's late 80s. It is 87, yeah. Wow, well. All right, so after that batch, the score is- Oh Chance boy. 32, Khan with 18. Oh boy. But well, still technically not out of it. There are a lot of points in round number three, as you know. So with that, let's go ahead and begin round number three. So the way round number three is gonna work, uh, Chance, you're in the lead, so you technically will have power of choice. So the way it works is there's five questions. You're gonna pick a number between one and five. I then give you the decade as your starting point, and then you will tell me how many emojis you'd like to answer that question in. The most is five, you can go down to one. Point value is at five emojis, it's worth two points. Four emojis is four points. Three emojis is six points, two emojis is eight points, and one emoji is 10 points. If you, um, if you get the question incorrect, your opponent has to get the question right to get the full point value. However, if they get it wrong, they automatically will just get uh, half the points uh, available. One time in the round though, if your opponent gets it wrong and you think you really know the answer, you can double down. You double the point value, but if you do get it wrong, you get zero. You can still use your hints. You both have one hint left. So you can ask for a specific year, director, or actor. In round number three now, we're going to like third tier-ish or lower uh, tier actor. And if you guys are bidding back and forth and it does get down to one emoji, whoever gets down to one emoji has to answer because that's as low as we're going. Uh, and that person is automatically then answering it. I have a feeling I might need to go to one <laughs> at some point. <laughs> so uh, if you have any questions, uh, I can elaborate, but otherwise we can go ahead and get started. Yep. Chance? Cool. Floor is yours, one through five. Would you like to open uh, it? Four. Four. So that's going to get us to the 90s. Okay. How many emojis would you like? Five. Okay. Con? Four. Chance? 
Three. Uh, I will let him answer just to just to see for three emojis what the difficulty level is. <laughs> if I can see if I can gauge it. <laughs> Question number four is the nineties. Okay. This also determines my bet down. So potentially six points <laughs> on the board here. Let's see. All right. Your three emojis chance are a planetary alignment, henchman, and a satyr. Six points on the board here. Planetary alignment, henchman, and a satyr. And it's the 90s. 90s. Hmm. Planetary alignment, henchman, and a satyr. Hercules. It is Hercules. <laughs> I'm really hoping you got that one wrong. Uh, he was hesitating, so I thought maybe. <laughs> points, that is correct. Okay. All right. Uh, chance, one through five, that's not four. What would you like? Uh, two. Two. We're on to the 90s again. Back to back 90s here. <laughs> How many more would you like? Uh,. Let's say. Next answer. Start with four. Four. Con? Uh, three. Chance? Two. Shoot. <laughs> I probably should have said two. Um. You gonna take a chance, Julie? <laughs> no, no one more. I think I could. I could probably still mathematically win if. He still gets this. Oh, yeah, I'll let him answer. You'll let him answer? I probably need to double down, though, if you get to the two. So two emojis for the 90s. Go into chance. Okay. Go up the red slide here. All right. Chance, your two emojis are a poacher and a child. Rescue that under. Okay. <laughs> for eight points, that is correct. Okay, now I know what I have to do the rest of the game. Got it? <laughs> <laughs> I have to bet down to at least two. For 46 to 18. Uh, I'm still mathematically in it, right? Mathematically, you are technically okay. still in okay. the game. I figured. Uh, but Which you have to start I, getting some questions right. I took that gamble. So yeah, yeah. yeah, I need to. Do you think you would have known it with just the one emoji? I would have known it with two. Uh, if you said po maybe. With poacher, possibly. Yeah. Poacher, it's still, yeah. Should take the risk. I was All thinking right. betting down the two originally. Uh, chance? Floor is still uh, yours. One, three, or five. What would you like? Five. Five. You got two thousands. Okay. How many emojis three. would you like? Three emojis. Two. Oh, that answer. Two emojis. All right. We're. I think if I miss, the game's over. <laughs> I would. I would think so, but we'll see. All right. So two thousands to con. Two emojis. Your two emojis are poison wine and a sorceress. Poison wine and sorceress. From the two thousands. Um. Uh. I think I need to. So I'm gonna burn the last hint. And ask for. Uh, let's be bold and let's ask for the director, because <laughs> the actor has not been helping. He me. wants to be bold and ask for the. I've missed the, the two hints I asked for for actors on. So the director for this, Mark Dindle. Uh, it's the Emperor's New Groove. It is the Emperor's nice. New Groove. Nice. Eight points. You know, for a second, I thought you were going to go for actor because that would have helped because it would have been Eartha Kit. It actually would have helped, yeah. <laughs> I love the Oprah's Duke. Don't take actor, would have helped. I love the Oprah's Duke. <laughs> Thank God. So, score, oh. uh, score now is 46 to 26 with two questions left. Khan really making a push for uh, a <laughs> I could it. tie it, theoretically. I could tie it, potentially. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. All right, Khan, you got that question correct. So you have power of choice now. One or three, what would you like? Uh, number three. Okay. 1980s. Oh, boy. Um, 
<laughs> uh, <laughs> two. Oh, well, I think I have to. I'm Here comes 20. the strategy now. I think I have to. Okay, so if I say one, I have to answer it. Yeah, you have to answer it at one. Yeah. I feel, I feel a dangerous one. Oh. Let's go for one. Let's go for it. All right, chance. Ten points on the board here. Go on, taking his shot. Question number three is for the, the game. eighties. This could be for the game. All right, let me make sure I got the right slide since this is a pretty important one here. Well, you're still going to do the last one. Just for I can still do the last one, but we'll, we'll, see, we'll, we'll see what happens. Let's see what happens. <laughs> All right, question number three, one emoji. There it is. Your emoji is pneumonia. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hell of a one emoji. 1980. 1980 movie with pneumonia. <laughs> You've got you've got one hint left. Khan has zero hints left. Yep. Okay, wait. Right. Actually, I'm gonna take a shot. Okay. For ten points and potential I have a wins guess as well. Secret of That is correct. Good. I was gonna, goal, that, man. That, was, that was my guess as well. Ten points. <laughs> All right. So well, now I'm playing for pride. <laughs> technically, yeah, you know, can play for pride unless the most I could get is twenty points. I still fifty points, points or so. <laughs> yeah. So question. Number one for Pride, 2010s. Chance, you got it right, so you can open the bidding. Two. Two. All right. Let's, let's go with a bang. One. <laughs> go with a bang. With no hints. Let's go. With no hints and one emoji. Oh, boy. <laughs> Ten points on the board. You can at least make it, you know, yeah. respectable, right? I can at least <laughs> end on a correct answer, hopefully. Your one emoji is an ice nest. An ice nest? An ice Thinking. nest. 2010. What does that mean? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> It'll make what sense is, once you hear the answer. What is an ice? Okay. Ice nest. Ice nest. Ice nest. So is it a dinosaur thing? I don't think so. We already used a lot of dinosaur movies, so I don't think it's another. <laughs> um, I, think, I, I thought about it. I was like, I could maybe just do all dinosaurs. All dinosaurs. All dinosaur movies. Movies. Yeah, you could. You could. There's a lot of those. Um, I don't even know what where to start with them. You have to match probably just Jurassic Park at that point. Yeah. What does that mean? Um, an ice nest. What's a, what's a really cold movie? <laughs> um, I probably don't need to drag this out because it's this is pointless. Um, <laughs> it's all right, man. You got to. Um, I don't know the Lorax. That is unfortunately incorrect. So Chance, you can either answer it, you get the full points. If you get it wrong, you get half. If you want to take a shot for like maybe a points record here, you could you could double down if you really want. <laughs> can, I, can I double down and take my hand? You, can. you sure can if you really want to. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll double down and I'll use my last one. Right. What's, uh, what's your hint that you want? Let's go actor. Actor? You got Jaiman Hansu and an ice nest in the 2010s. How to Train Your Dragon 2. For 20 points. It is, could have been How to Train Your Dragon 3. It is, <laughs> it is How to Train Your Dragon 2. So your other emojis, just for the sake of like filling it out, you would have had also an alpha, hypnotic sound waves, a sacrifice, and a viking funeral. I probably would have needed at least four. <laughs> so 76 points, Chance. Whoa, that, that, is, that is very impressive. <laughs> Thank you. I got my butt kicked today, as I predicted. I <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, at least it didn't come down like, to me I, missing I gotta say, like, even though even though it was like this, it still came down to almost the last question. Like you made it. The it came out as the second to last question. This was yeah, the yeah. second to last question. The score doesn't dictate how close this match really was. Yeah. yeah. Um, Thanks for trying to make me feel better. <laughs> but yeah, but in all reality, Chance kicked your ass. <laughs> Good lord. No, that was that, no, that was a hell of a match. You guys were going blow for blow round one, like staying with it. Can't get those bonus questions for some reason. <laughs> Thank God I didn't come down to me I, confusing I, fireplace yeah, and furnace. You, you, could be, you could feel safe and sleep easy that knowing that your miss in the first question didn't cost you in the match. That didn't cost you the match. <laughs> I hit double the penguin, I hit pneumonia, but I did not hit Lego Batman. Yeah, yeah you true. both did not hit Lego Batman, though. 
Several of the ones Chance got I knew, which was, so if only I picked the other match, or if only I got the other match, so, who knows. Yeah, mm -hmm. the way it was going with round two, the way Chance was just rattling off those answers, I started thinking like, shit, I should have picked some harder moves. No, no I should have gotten that batch, is what I was thinking yeah, yeah. all thinking. <laughs> So, Chance, did you happen to know, like, a, I mean, I know you got a couple of uh, those steals, but do you feel like you would have been pretty confident in that, that round of his? Uh, the second one, I, did, I wasn't as confident. I think I, I think I got the right batch, but... Okay, so I that luck of the draw was good. Those answers. Answers. Nice. Well, you're today's winner, so floor is yours. You get to plug, promote, speak about whatever you'd like to talk about. Uh, yeah, so find me on Twitter, Instagram, Chance, Boys underscore 91, taking the tours by Chance, uh, so podcast with Buddy Russell Howell. Uh, we're on a bit of a hiatus while I've been doing my work down here in Florida, but we'll be starting that back up when I'm back in Arizona. Also, uh, when the football season on the, around the horizon, we are doing left side, strong side again next season. Mike Deacon is not going to be joining us this, for this time around, but we do have a new co-host already set up. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, tune into that every Tuesday. Awesome. And we'll have your handles and descriptions all in the, in the description below. Uh, Con, second place, but you know. Contrary to what this, this match to what make you showed. think, I do like anime movies. Maybe not all the ones you asked about, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm on Twitter at the King Con. You can follow me on Letterboxd if you like joke reviews. At the time of this recording, my joke review for Horizon was Horizon Zero Fun. Oh, you, uh, saw, you saw Horizon too? I saw Horizon. <laughs> it, was, it was a struggle, but I did stay awake somehow the whole time. Um, so yeah, you can follow me there and then just watch this show because it's fun. Awesome. Thanks, man. Uh, and one thing that I can confirm, Chance, uh, for a singles match, you have the highest point score oh, uh, wow. on, out of the show so far with uh, 76. Wow. So congratulations on your winner all around, man. This is overall <laughs> domination. Thank you. animation domination for sure. Like you dominate oh, boy. The, the record there. So well done. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, as for me, uh, you can follow me at Dijindoyen on Twitter and Instagram. Or you can follow the show on TikTok. Uh, just look for Cinemojis. Follow this show, like, subscribe, you know, share this with your friends, all that good stuff. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.